AIDSWalkLA.org. Your emblem of devotion. Have your engagement ring custom made by the Jewelry Exchange. Choose a one-carat lab-grown diamond for $5.99 or a natural GIA for $19.90. 18K mounts are $4.99. Thousands of choices, always the best deal. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. It's at home in the valley, a warehouse full of rugs. Too many rugs, way too many rugs. It's time for a sale. Save on thousands of rugs in stock. Take one home today. Modern, traditional, shag, solids, and textures, all at low, low prices. Roll runners for stairs and hallways, any length you need. Since 1979, at home in the valley, 16531 Satakoy Street, Van Nuys, 818-780-4663, online at athomeinthevalley.com. Now at five, a deadly stabbing at Beverly Hills. The investigation underway after a deadly confrontation near Santa Monica and Wilshire. Plus, overnight chaos in San Bernardino. A reported street takeover ends in a crash, multiple arrests, and hospitalizations. And in need of a luxury vacation from high-end stays to first-class flights, what are you choosing to splurge on? Now, Southern California's news leader, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All of it. <laughs> All of the above, right? We need that in our life. Good morning, everyone. 5 a.m. here on your Sunday. I'm Mark Cotterobles. And I'm Irene Cruz. Yes, you're a luxury vacation <laughs> type of person. It just calls to me. It does. <laughs> right. Does it call to Tony Cabrera? That's the question. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if we can afford it, if we can splurge, right? Yeah, it's always no. nice to dream of. Those luxury places don't allow four kids to run that around. Is true. That is true. Uh, this that is true, is my friend. That is so, and are nice. they dog friendly? Dog friendly. I mean, <laughs> yeah, all of the above. We hey, can dream. What a morning with the fog rolling. Yes, in. we had some of it yesterday, but this morning there's a lot more areas of some patchy, dense fog. And so you definitely want to be careful if you're driving out there because that visibility can really affect you. Um, and, you know, this is not common here, right? So this, these are the types of mornings where you, you, you want to be careful on the freeways, even, even regular roads where the visibility comes really down, uh, really low, I should say. Right now in Glendale, foggy conditions there, visibility's at about a mile. But again, this could be like a matter of a couple of yards, like 100 yards, and then it changes the visibility. So I know I, I have that driving in on the 5 freeway. So we have a mile over towards the Burbank area, and then there's just going to be some other areas that start to come up. But like the 134 and the 5, that area, that pocket there, that's what we're really looking like right now. Uh, and so if you are traveling on the roads, reduce visibility. In that case, you turn on the low beams. Do not have your high beams on at all. Uh, uh, drive slow, be careful, and uh, that fog, the dense fog, could last until about 10 or so this morning. So we'll keep an eye on the marine layer clouds. Uh, Temperature-wise, 81 degrees for downtown LA. Uh, that's right where we should be this time of year. Inland Orange County, 82. Valleys, 86. The Inland Empire, about 91 degrees. Beaches, 70. Mountain, 79. The High Desert, 95. Low Desert, 107. So these interior areas are a little, uh, little cooler compared to yesterday, but everybody's going to start to feel that warm up coming up. So Mark Irene will talk about that coming up. Okay, Tony, thank you. New this morning, a chaotic scene in San Bernardino after a crash following reports of a street takeover in the area. This happened overnight near 2nd Street and G Street. You can see where a pickup tr uh, truck there slammed into a tree. Police took at least two men into custody. Several others were taken to a hospital. An investigation is underway after a man was stabbed to death during a confrontation with another man in Beverly Hills. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter has the details. The investigation continues after a bizarre attack and stabbing in Beverly Hills. My neighbor said that he saw a man walking down the sidewalk and screaming really loudly. Um, the man and his, I guess, wife and the little girl he had were um, walking together and the man tried to either grab the girl from what I was told um, and the, the dad tried to fight him off. In that confrontation, it appears it was the alleged attacker who was fatally stabbed. The drama unfolding just before 3 p.m. on Spalding Drive near Charleville Boulevard. I saw him attacking the father as they were walking across the street while he had a, his probably two-year-old, maybe a little younger, in his arms. This good Samaritan who only wants to be identified as Brian rushed to intervene. The bloody suspect then turning his attention on him, attempting to pull his dog Luna from the car. He's 